Bonjour, my name is Marquenzi Julius Caesar. I was born in Haiti and then my family migrated to the U.S. in 1987 when I was about 13 years old. So you can say I grew up in two different countries. I'm as American as, no, not apple pie. Okay, I started drawing in grade school. Um, back then, we used to carry lunch boxes to school and there used to be these printed graphics of um, DC Comics, like Spider-Man, oh, sorry, no, <laughs> like um, Superman and Batman and the Marvel Comics, like Spider-Man and so on. And I used to try to reproduce those um, drawings. And I think from then on, everything that I see, I felt like I can draw it or I can paint that too. So whatever inspired me, it was game, like game on, challenge accepted. Uh, I was the only child for a while when I was young. So I grew up in a big, big house. And so when I was able to be around people, I love being around people. I think that's why I like to draw people as well. You know, I'm the person that will be, that will love being in you know, crowds and concerts. Or, in, or go out to the Black Friday for to get, you know, Christmas present, you know? So I love people and I, I like to draw people as well. Uh, currently, my artwork is about cherishing my years when I was in Haiti. Um, I like artists like John Singer Sargent, um, Kerry Marshall, Kerry James Marshall, uh, my brother from another mother, um, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Kehendi Wiley, the guy who did the painting of President o Obama. And another uh, person that I like also, he does um, abstract work. His name is Mark Bradford. Um, I use oil paint to do my artwork because it, it allows me to make mistakes and start over. It's like playing a video game. You know, you try different thing and then it doesn't work. And sometimes it, it does work. So there's a freedom to try new things and be in inventive. I get inspiration from anywhere. When it comes to actually doing the paintings, um, I love, love to use live models if I can, but it's not always easy uh, because live models are not cheap. Um, so I do use a um, bunch of photo references, Pinterest, um, magazines, um, movies and life, you know, stuff, stuff that ha happened in, in real life as well, too. Um, but, you know, part, part of the process has to do with that what's in my mind, like what, what I vision that's going to be happen, doesn't always uh, happen. So what I end up on the canvas may be completely different than what I had in mind. So I have to trust that you know, you know, trust my, my vision and be okay uh, with, the, with the changes that, you know, end up happening. And there are times where what's in my mind is not as good as what I have on, on canvas. And also, lots of time, <laughs> what I end up on canvas is like, ah, this is ugly. This is terrible. Burn it. Burn. Burn. So uh, anyway, uh, when I'm painting, I love to listen to, to music. Um, I listen to everything. When I mean everything, I mean everything. I even listen to country music. Can you believe it? I know, it's weird. Um, but I love like um, heavy rock. I love rap, R&B. I listen to blues, classical music, um, Broadway shows. I love Le Mis, Miss Saigon, um, Hamilton. Um, of course, I listen to a bunch of Haitian music. I even listen to French music because um, I speak French. So, whatever that can help me get, whatever that can help me get in that zone. So, uh, music for me is my safe drug of choice. So, so don't do drugs. Do music. I don't think that would go viral. Do you think? No, I guess not. So anyway, I hope you guys um, have fun. That's part of being an artist. It's just you are an artist the minute you start doing doing art.